what's going on YouTube so today I'm gonna be doing a, another bin split and we're going to be splitting bin A just like I promised in my first bin split video and we're gonna be harvesting the castings and seeing what it yields but the difference today is this bin is recently irrigated so about six uh, six days ago or so I added water to this bin here and how I add water to these bins is I'll just take a cup of water that's been sitting out a while you know it doesn't have any chlorine in it and I'll just pour it into the bin here until the water starts dripping out of one of these bottom holes as soon as I start seeing a drip I'm done and I'll set it on a rack and just let it drip dry and um, this is important because if you put one of these bins that's wet and dripping on a shelf the water might pull up under it it'll just start making a puddle under it and if you lift that bin up after it's been sitting a little bit with water under it you'll notice a lot of little worms um, all around it underneath it so because these holes are so low it, they, they kind of just escape out into that puddle there so that's not good so you definitely want to let your bins finish dripping before uh, putting them on a shelf or something um, eventually we'll have racks and stuff for that once we're irrigating a lot of bins here um, this one was also irrigated at the same time about six days ago but I'm going to wait to harvest this one this bin's about seven months old now this bin will be about eight months old and today pretty much the the experiment is I want to give this time to dry up and we're gonna see how much easier it is to sift this stuff out to see if the yields higher because while this vermicompost is wet it's probably going to end up uh, clumping up and it might not run through the sifter the fine sifter too well which this is a pretty fine sifter right here it's supposed to be an eighth inch I think it is but I'm really curious how uh, how well it ends up sifting out and uh, also I wanted to go ahead and show you all the bins y'all witnessed me creating so bin B actually ended up creating these two bins and y'all watched me uh, make these two bins here and if you notice one bin is pretty fluffy and one bin is nice and it's got a nice coat on it and the experiment here is if uh, if, if you take a bin and you're just digging in it you're just like hey worms you still alive you know you, you still doing your thing and stuff like that you know I want to see how much that actually affects the the performance of their 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 composting process because these bins here are supposed to pretty much create like an ecosystem in them and if if, if you disturb that ecosystem it should slow things down so every time you break into one of these it should slow down the process a little bit and you can see here I haven't touched this one at all and and y'all saw uh, these are pretty much the same thing and this has sprouts growing in it and if you notice look how much it sunk down so when I made these bins they were at the top yeah they were at the top but it ended up sinking down about roughly uh, two inches and uh, compressing and the reason for that is the compost that I used to make these bins um, wasn't really a finished compost um, I didn't give it enough time to sit which is fine we're still gonna see how it does and I also ended up making a new pile of compost here's the uh, the fresh stuff here and I keep it in a container like this right now and uh, this is pretty much static composting here I'm not turning this compost at all 
and this all came from some bushes we recently trimmed and I just took all those trimmings and filled this bin up and um, then I just add food mix food in with it and stuff and let it start breaking down now it's not going to be an issue I already know it's not going to be an issue if I go ahead and build these bins with this new compost here and uh, that's just because it's been sitting in this uh, long enough to uh, accumulate uh, microbes and microbes reproduce pretty fast they reproduce they, they double in population every uh, I think it's four to 20 minutes they 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 reproduce incredibly fast as long as you make sure there's enough oxygen and you make sure it's uh, moist enough which I mean I can I can feel it's actually really moist in there you can see it's really green though which uh, should have some good nitrogen content and stuff like that but um, it's good to let this stuff here break down at least a few months um, if you can let it sit for a year that's even better and as it sits for a year it'll end up sinking down pretty low and getting pretty dense now that's good because that just means you can fit more of this in a smaller space and there's going to be a lot more holes and and pores and stuff from the microbes eating at it which means more surface area which means it can retain more water which is pretty important um but um yeah so i'm gonna make the new bins with uh this compost here and we're going to pretty much just like before um use these four bins here the uh coarse unsifted coarse sifted fine unsifted fine sifted and weigh it out and also i'm going to do an experiment i'm going to take some uh paver sand here i'm going to try something new so with this paver sand i'm going to line it in one of their new bins so i'm just going to make a thin coat on the bottom here one reason is yeah sand and stuff is um good uh um, grit so the worms need like a grit to help them digest that hasn't this isn't really the reason why I'm using that um, I'm using this grit um, on the bottom here because I think it might help keep the vermicompost from sticking to the bottom whenever I'm harvesting these bins this compost is really sticky and I usually have to take a screwdriver and get it up well, eventually I want to be able to just take a bin and dump it out and most of it actually come out that would be um, pretty convenient if if if, uh, if it ended up working out that way but we'll keep testing that and, and see how that works out but um, right now I've already shown y'all how I go through the sifting process so I'm gonna go ahead and start sifting um, bin A here and this will make bin A2 and um, bin D and um, We'll uh, see what that looks like and we'll we'll weigh out um, Whatever we get out of this So uh, let me get started I'm actually pretty surprised I've been sifting through bin A here and the castings aren't as wet as I expected They are moist um, but as you can see it was pretty easy for me to grab that look at that it's actually easier to grab this than it was uh, Ben B when y'all watched me sift that one so uh, pretty interesting uh, twist there because I did not expect that but anyway I'm going to continue sifting Okay, so the first round of sifting is done with the core sifter here, and that was actually a lot easier than I expected, which makes me question some things, but here is all the half-inch sifted compost here, and there's the rough stuff there, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get the fine stuff sifted out, out of this bin here, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Just got done sifting the fine stuff and here's the rough fine stuff there 
and here is the fun stuff the castings and wow this is a lot more than I thought was gonna come out of this um, I had no issues with the uh, castings clumping up now let's go ahead and do a moisture test real quick and see wow that feels so good see if it's at the right moisture content so I was able to make a shape just like that now it's got to easily break apart boom just like that broke apart that is the perfect moisture if you have castings that are too dry you cannot make a shape like that um, it'll just uh, it'll just be like sand uh, dry sand um, if it's uh, too wet then well it's just uh, it's you're just gonna kind of make an indention in it it's gonna be like clay or uh, mud but that is the perfect moisture right there content and uh, now let's go ahead and just take this stuff here and, and weigh it out and see how much we got because I'm pretty sure this did better than Ben uh, B. I'm pretty sure this did better than Ben B for sure. So, all right, let's check it out. Wow, so this is my largest casting harvest yet. Look at all that. And it's just under three pounds. We're looking at two pounds, 15 ounces. And man, yeah, that is my largest harvest yet. That actually just uh, beat my Indian blue harvest, which was the largest. I forget what it was. I'll, I'll put a little uh, caption there. But anyway, yeah, um, almost three pounds castings. Now, I did have this bin working for seven months, but I did stress test it a lot by keeping it dry. I'm going to be... Uh, um, irrigating these bins pretty frequently now since uh, I pretty much pushed them to the limits just to see if they could if the worms could live in such dry conditions which they do I mean for months they do uh, of course they don't perform well but now I'm gonna be uh, actually keeping these bins moist and uh, we're gonna test that out and see if we can push it beyond three pounds but let's go ahead and uh, make these new bins here all right, so I just put sand in the bottom of these bins here, and I just took a handful of this stuff and just just tried to uh, spread it as good as I could. Hopefully, that's not too much sand. Same with this bin. Nice thin layer through here. Uh, there was a lot of sand build up right around the uh, crevices here. Hopefully, that's not too much of a problem. But whenever I was digging the stuff out, that was the hardest area for me to actually get the stuff out. I had to get my finger in there and scrape it out but again i want to be able to take a bin and just dump it uh, and most of it come out so we'll see how that works out but i'm gonna go ahead and just take the uh rough stuff here and uh put it on the bottom and then uh we'll put some of this this compost here and then we'll put some of this stuff here on top just to uh retain the moisture and all that so let me go ahead and do that the rough stuff is in now to add some of this fresh looking compost here all right so the compost is in and man that is the freshest looking compost i've ever put in one of these bins but we're gonna see how it does um, that's how much i took out of there but now to add the fine stuff here so let's go ahead and throw that on top just to help hold in the moisture and all that all right all right, so the fawn stuff is on, and this right here will be bin A2, and this right here will be bin E right here, but man, I always just love the way these things look whenever they're, they're built. It's a fresh bin, very clean looking. But anyway, hey, if y'all like this video, support us, give us a subscribe or a like or any of that if you enjoyed the content, and I'll see y'all in the next video.